Good afternoon, I'm Katie Jeffries. A special memorial happened this morning to honor a fallen Jacksonville officer. Officer Lance Whitaker died last year after losing patrol or losing control of his patrol car and then crashing it while he was responding to a call. So the stretch of 295 between Alta Drive and Pulaski Road will now be known as Officer Lance Christian Whitaker Highway. Arlana Harris was there at the unveiling this morning and has more. Yeah, here is the sign right behind me. It was unveiled this morning by Officer Lance Whitaker's own family. And of course, this is not going to take away the pain from his family members, everybody who loved him. But it is something that is here forever in this community that says that we remember him and we honor the sacrifice that he gave for this community. Officer Whitaker was responding to a call on a rain slick road in the dark hours of the morning on May 15th last year when officers say he lost control of his patrol car and crashed into a tree. He died from his injuries. Now, Whitaker had been with JSO for 17 years and worked at the Atlantic Beach Police Department before that. So a good chunk of his life had been dedicated to serving this community. That's what made Steve Zona with the FOP, Senator Audrey Gibson and Representative Tracy Davis decide the community should do something for him and after some pushing in Tallahassee, they were able to bring this honor here to Jacksonville. So today the ramp at Alta Drive was shut down for the unveiling and it was surrounded by Whitaker's fellow officers, Sheriff Mike Williams, of course, Senator Gibson and Representative Davis and Councilman Al Ferrero. Whitaker's family didn't want to speak, but they looked very grateful to have their loved one commemorated like this and receive signs of their own to take home with them. We're more than honored to designate this highway on behalf of Officer Lance Whitaker, who was coming to help somebody else. We would just like to uh, thank the family for allowing us to have borrowed this 17-year veteran that did so much as far as sacrifice and service. You can find this sign on the eastbound side of I-295 at Alta Drive. Here in Jacksonville, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News, on your side.